Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox and thanks for logging on. New in the description, Timaso at thewatchbox.com. The email to go straight to my team and I for purchase questions and inquiries about watches that you see here on Watchbox Reviews streamlining the purchase process. And you will be interested in this 2019 Zin Arctis 2. Technically the reference 206, the Arctis 2 is the successor to the 41mm 1999 original, an extreme climate sports chronograph and the sequel in 43 millimeter stainless steel is both a tribute to the original as well as an advance on the state of the art. More durable than the original in ways that Zinn engineers of 1999 could only have imagined. The Arctis 2 is a handsome 43 millimeter steel watch that's 49.8 millimeters from lug to lug. So you can see its size on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, but due to the lug to lug span, I can recommend it for wrists as small as 14 centimeters circumference. Now it is fairly chunky at 17.2 millimeters thick, but there's a lot in that case. 22 millimeters is the space between the lugs and the strap that's fit is well a bit more deluxe than what you'd expect from a hardcore tool watch manufacturer like Zinn. It's rather rich and rather substantial. Large rectangular scale alligator leather, navy blue with a little bit of a gradient fade to black along the scales. It's semi-gloss with a Sheer aside showing the layers of construction and a nice contrasting aviator style stitch. There's a matching polished stainless steel buckle and you can see the case is matching high polished as the strong lugs inherited from the EZM1 and EZM11 giving this watch a strong Zinn aesthetic character. The crown as you can see featuring a set of flanking chronograph pushers and guards. I should mention that what appear at first glance to be screw down pushers are in fact not. These are stability shoulders designed to brace the pushers. You do not actually need to screw them in or out to operate the chronograph. A significant advance over the original that's possible thanks to Zinn's D3 sleeved pusher technology that makes them both more impact resistant and more hermetically sealed against the outside. Allowing in to fill the interior of the watch with nitrogen. I know it says argon on the dial, that was the original material used, now it's a nitrogen fill. And you get the copper sulfate capsule, replaceable by the way, that screws into the flank of the case and extracts any moisture that may manage to intrude. You'll note that the strong case lines are matched by a strong bezel profile with two different types of knurling. Note that this is Zinn's proprietary captive bezel as it's held on using screws. Now it'll take a little bit longer for your watchmaker to disassemble it for cleaning and service, but it means you can't accidentally snap it off against a door frame. It's easy to snap off an Omega, a Rolex, or a Tag Heuer bezel, not so a captive bezel. You'll also note that the case is made by Zinn's own Case Factory, SUG. You'll also see that stamp on many precious metal Alango Unzona cases because Zinn is one of their precious metal case suppliers. Also, the Germans, they think of everything. The watchmakers from Frankfurt at Zinn, yep, they are from Frankfurt, not Glasuta. They put these little revetments on the side of the case so that the strap can be drilled close to the case and there's no impediment in its motion because of that little revetment. Now, the bezel is a unidirectional diving bezel. It has an excellent detent. Take to listen. It is very chunky. It feels good. It sounds good. It's a tactile pleasure. You'll also note that it features a satin metallic finish on its top, which I happen to think gives the watch a cool two-tone silver and blue aesthetic. This is a place where I don't miss a ceramic insert. There is a large loomed index in the bezel, and you'll see that shortly. The dial is heavily loomed, and although it is technically not part of the Mission Timer series, the EZM or the Einsatzzeit Messe, it nevertheless carries the three-year warranty of the EZM line rather than the standard in two-year warranty, and it has a lot of EZM functionality as the dial, which features an explosive sunburst blue, is also highly legible day or night. Now, there are discs for the day and the date, and I should mention, let me just make sure I get through the danger zone. By the way, you can see there is a stop seconds or hacking feature. The watch features a bi-directional quick set system, so I can set either one of the day or the date by turning the crown in either direction. Now the crown is a screw down and the watch is 300 meters water resistant. So while it does have an air of aviators chronograph about it, it is a Zin after all. Nevertheless, this is classed as a diving chronograph. Turn it all over and you can see under the case back, the last of the Zin proprietary technologies applied to the Arctis. The original 1999 Arctis was the first watch to use Zin's 
extreme temperature technology and you can see on the rotor for the Valsu 7750 which for aficionados is delivered in a top grade the second from highest and regulated in-house by Zinn but it has negative 45 Celsius now it is also resistant up to 80 degrees Celsius atmospheric extremes that would fry or freeze you make no mistake this watch's limits are higher and lower than yours now the basic movement is nicely decorated with machine applied finish in the terms of bright polish uh, Cote de Genève across the rotor you can see there are blued screws and there's engine turning but for the most part this is a technically competent and tough tractor movement in addition to stop seconds and a quick set date the 25 joule movement has a 28 8 beat rate or 4 hertz 8 beats per second and it has a 42 hour automatic winding power reserve with unidirectional winding that has been proven in practice to be more efficient than bidirectional. A watch that puts it all together, the Zen 206 Arctis 2. T Masa with thewatchbox.com if you gotta have it. And we're back with the Zen Arctis 2.